let's keep moving along and talk about compound inequalities. Now, compound inequality is when you have more than one inequality together. So if I ask you to solve negative 5 is less than x plus 13 is less than or equal to 22. What we need to make sure we do is get x by itself. Now, if I did this, it would be pretty easy to see that you just have to move the 13 over to isolate the x. If I have this, you would still have to subtract the 13 to move it over to get x by itself. With these compound inequalities, what we call a three-part inequality like this, you must get x by itself, and the x has to be in the middle. So if I subtract 13 from this side and this side, just like I was talking about doing, like that, that would get the x by itself. However, since this is a three-part inequality and all these guys are connected, what you do to one piece, you have to do it to all pieces. So I get negative 18 is less than x is now by itself, and this is less than or equal to not. So notice that I have completely by itself. I have x completely by itself here in the middle. And here's what that means. It means that x is less than or equal to 9, but at the same time x is greater than negative 18. So your solutions are those numbers that are between negative 18 and 9. But here's another question for you though. Is negative 18 included? Since this is just a less than but not equal to, it stays open. But since this is less than or equal to, this equal to part right here means that I do get to have that filled in. And then when I write my interval notation, I'm going from negative 18 to positive 9. And since I'm not including negative 18 and it's open, I use parentheses. Since 9 is included, and I've got a closed circle, I use a bracket. Okay, uh, let's try another one of these. If I ask you to solve 17 is less than or equal to 11 minus 2x is less than or equal to 35. Again, you want to get x by itself and it has to stay in the middle. If I ask you to solve this inequality, it shouldn't be that bad. You move the 11, divide by negative 2. Same thing here. Move the 11, divide by negative 2. So what we're doing is that we're basically taking these two inequalities and we're solving them at the same time. So I start off by moving the 11 over. Remember, your x must stay in the middle. Do not try to take this guy and move him to the outside. That will not go well for you at all. So now I have that 6 is less than or equal to negative 2x, which is less than or equal to 24. Well, I'm almost there. I just have to finish getting x by itself. And I do that by dividing both or all, excuse me, all three parts by negative 2. Now notice here that you are doing division with a negative number, so what's going to happen with the inequality? The inequality symbols will change direction, so this is negative 3. This guy now becomes greater than or equal to. This is just x, and this guy is also going to change the direction of the inequality, so that's greater than or equal to negative 12. Now before we go on, we want to make sure that what we have here does make sense. In the original inequality, I have that 17 is less than 35, when of course that makes sense. Down here though, is negative 3 greater than negative 12? And the answer is yes. Now a lot of times writing it this way can be kind of confusing. We like to write this in an order from least to greatest. So if I rewrite this, I say negative 12 is less than or equal to, because see, notice how it's pointing to the negative 12? It still has to be pointing back to the negative 12. Less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to negative 3. By rewriting it this way, it makes it very easy to graph, because things are in order now. So negative 12 to negative 3. I do these nice, round, blue circles. 
and x is in between here. Am I including the negative 12? With the equal sign, that tells me yes, I am including this. And I am including the negative 3 because of the equal sign. And then finally, whenever I write the interval notation here, it's going from negative 12 to negative 3. And since I am including both of these, I will have a bracket on both of those guys as well.